Hello, you are welcome. I want to solve this nice exponent problem. From here, we can divide through by 16 raised to the power x, and this becomes 25 raised to the power x over 16 raised to the power x, then minus 20 raised to the power x over 16 raised to the power x equals to 16 raised to the power x over 16 raised to the power x. Then from here, we apply the law of indices and uh, we can take the power of x out. So this becomes 25 over 16 raised to the power x. Then minus here, the same thing happened here. We have 20 over 16. Then raised to the power x. Then here cancel out. And that remain one there. Then in the next step, we can express 25 as 5 square, then 16 as 4 square, then all raised to the power x now, then minus here, 5 can go in here, I mean 4 can go in 20, that's 5, and 4 can go in 16, that's 4. So we have 5 over 4, then raised to the power x, which is equal to 1 now. Then from here, also, we, can, we have same power here, we can take it out from the law of indices. That becomes 5 over 4, then raised to the power 2, which is also raised to the power x here. Then minus, we have 5 over 4, which is raised to the power x here. And is equals to 1. Then from here, this power can be interchanged since they multiply each other from the law of indices. And we have 5 over 4 raised to power x. Then now raised to power 2 minus 5 over 4 raised to power x, which is equals to 1. From here, we have 5 over 4 raised to power x common. So let a letter represent that. So let 5 over 4 raised to power x be equals to y. And this equation now becomes y square minus y equals to 1. And we can take 1 to this side. And this will become y square minus y minus 1 equals to zero. Now we solve this quadratic equation and we use the quadratic formula y equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and in this case a is equals to 1 coefficient of y square and b equals to minus 1 coefficient of y then c is also minus 1. Then here y becomes y equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 then over 2 times 1. Then from here we have this as y equals to 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared as 1 then plus 4 over 2 and here we have y equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2 so here we have two possible values of y and then the first we have y equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or we have y equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 and uh, we should recall that we represent y as 5 over 4 raised to the power x and which is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and also here we also have 5 over 4 raised to the power x 
which is also equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then we should note that 5 over 4 is to power x will be a positive number, and also here we have a positive number, and on this side, this is a positive number, and of course, this will give us a negative. So, here on this side, this will not be possible. So we reject this side, this side rejected and we accept this side. Then from here we can take the log on both sides. So we have log 5 over 4 raised to power x now equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then from here we can apply the power law of log reading and we bring x here we now have x log 5 over 4 then equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then here we can divide both sides by log 5 over 4 from here then we divide this side also by log 5 over 4 and from here log 5 over 4 cancel out and here x equals to log here we can separate it into two logs since we divide that with subtraction so we have log 1 plus root 5 then minus here log 2 then similarly here as well we can also separate this and this will be log 5 minus log 4 and uh, we can put this in decimal up there and here we have x equals to 0 0.2 0 0.2 